happy Monday. Um, it's not been off to a brilliant start um, because I'm currently sitting in the car because I um, subluxed my hip in the middle of the Tesco, which was not um, too fun. Um, so I'm just waiting for Ian to, to get the stuff and um, come back. But um, weather is being really weird. Yesterday it was bright sunshine, I was wearing a little dress and today it snowed, would you believe? Um, but yeah, we just popped to Tesco's to get some bits that we couldn't get on um, on Saturday when we did our usual shop. So we've come to a different store than we usually would. Um, and that was a mistake because we didn't know where anything was. Uh, there was a queue to get in and as I say, I've done my hip. So um, we'll have to wait and see um, what Ian returns with. I will catch up with you a bit later. Hey guys, happy Monday night. I'm pretty exhausted. We've just kind of had a day of getting some things sorted, um, which has really been nice, but obviously it's been fairly taxing. Um, and I've just been finishing off some vloggy bloggy stuff. <laughs> um, I finally got a vlog out semi on time. Are you proud of me? <laughs> anyway, um, I've been doing some Instagram stuff as well. Um, if you don't follow me over there, definitely come check it out. I've been doing lots of reels lately. Um, they're mainly on Instagram because TikTok scares me a little bit. But um, but yeah, they seem to be doing really well and people are finding them really, really helpful. So if you don't already follow me over there, then do go and check that out. Um, I'm going to try and get an early night, I think, because I'm pretty exhausted. And um, I will... See you tomorrow. Morning guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I have woken up feeling absolutely awful. Um, I feel like I've been hit by a bus. It all started last night. We were just chilling out, watching the sofa. Uh, watching the sofa, <laughs> there we go. We were chilling out, watching something. Um, and it was my turn to sort honey out, um, you know poop patrol um and food and stuff and i said to ian like, i'm feeling really tired um and you know we we joke about um joke about doing honey stuff and i got up and tried to do it anyway and i was so so bloated but painfully so like almost doubled over in pain um i'm trying to do it and um I picked up her bowls and by the time I got out to the kitchen and was making all these noises in pain and realised that I was really, really in pain and not um and not joking about to try and get out of it. And um I went to bed and he got me a hot water bottle. Um and you know, it started calming down a bit. But then I um kept waking up with like reflux and then I woke up and my hips felt like they were on fire um and I've woken up this morning and my legs are so so stiff and I'm struggling to walk around the flat um yeah I just don't feel very well at all um and I'm not really sure why I'm betting that a lot of it is down to the fact that I haven't slept very well and I hope once I've um, woken up a little bit, I'll feel okay and be able to get on with work as planned because I really don't want to push everything else back this week because um, it's a busy one. <sighs> hey guys, um, I've had a rough day. I took most of the day off work apart from a couple of meetings that I had, um, which I had to just um, have my video camera off um, for so that I could at least listen and take in some of what was being said. Honey says hi. Ow, calls to the face. Um, and we're doing this like this now, are we? <laughs> I've just had a lot of pain, um, mainly in my hips and my legs, and just been feeling really nauseous and completely exhausted um, for no good reason really which is always frustrating when a flare comes out of nowhere for no good reason um i'm really hoping that a day of rest today will have helped a little bit honey stop nudging me <laughs> uh i really hope that a day of rest today will have helped a little bit 
and I'll feel a little bit better tomorrow. Just keep those fingers crossed for me. I'll see you then. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, it's been a busy old day today, just trying to catch up with bits and bobs. I'm feeling a lot better than I was yesterday, um, but now I'm feeling quite headachy and quite tired, which isn't surprising because I've had to do two days worth of stuff in a day. Um, but there you go. Um, I have had some time to relax though, which has been good. I watched um, the new Stacey Solomon show on BBC One, um, Sort Your Life Out, which was really, really good. Um, and also this new Stacey Dooley show on BBC, which is This Is My House, uh, where people pretend that a house is their house, um, which is pretty funny. And a good little, uh, a good little game to play between uh, Ian and I in terms of working out whose house it actually was. Um, but anyway, we had a bit of excitement for the evening because last week I ordered um, Honey some more uh, like live bugs um, before we've always gone to the shop to get them and we've had no problems. But I ordered them online um, and the packaging was a little, was not great in comparison to what we'd got in the store and um, so I just put them kind of on a, on something on the floor. So they were quite high off the floor um, and anyway we had dinner and we watched our show and I went back into the kitchen and there's wormies everywhere um, because somehow they'd managed to get out of the packaging and then crawl across the kitchen floor. Um, but then when Ian went to inspect the packaging, he could not see how on earth they'd got out. Um, so I've now had to like put them in something and tape it to the side of the kitchen, making sure they can still breathe, but also making sure that we don't have a kitchen full of bugs. Might not be ordering online again. Anyway, that was the fun for the evening. I've got some bits and bobs to do that I don't really feel like doing, but. I have to do them, um, so I will do that and I will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, this week seems to be going quite quickly, which is quite nice. Um, I am very tired today, but um, just getting on with work bits and bobs. Um, I was gonna say something to you, but of course I've forgotten because my brain just doesn't feel quite with it this week. <laughs> um, but the other thing I was gonna say is good news but ridiculous news as well in my head because um Ian just called up his GP um to basically say um my my partner is is vulnerable is it possible if I have the the jab um and you know he thought he was gonna have to have an argument he literally said those words and has booked in for his vaccine today which obviously I'm very pleased about because um you know if Ian's also vaccinated, I feel a lot more comfortable and a lot safer um, and hopefully we can we can do some more things uh, and it will also mean that we both get our second jabs earlier. Um, but also the fact that I, as the disabled person who is actually vulnerable to this in one way or another, had to fight and argue to get this jab and then the completely healthy person just calls up and literally says my partner is vulnerable am i able to get on the list and uh gets an appointment for the same day like it's just so frustrating the ableism is so frustrating hey guys please excuse the state of me um i'm not feeling particularly good again after my shower I have an awful awful, awful headache and I've taken some painkillers but it hasn't um gone off yet it's one of those ones that's like all down my neck and like right up here um it's not very nice but hopefully it will calm down soon um Ian has just gone to go get his jab um I'm a little bit worried about him not feeling well and me having to look after him especially when I'm not feeling great but there you go um, also, something that I wanted to talk to you about was the Rare Disease UK Rare Reach Festival. Um, I was really, really happy and proud um, last week because I was shortlisted for the 
best storyteller by an individual. Um, I entered my post from last year about um, Disability Pride Month and um, yeah so I was really really amazed to be shortlisted. Unfortunately I didn't win my category but there is a People's Choice Award um, which you can vote for so I've popped the link down in the description so if you could go to that and give me your vote it would really 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 mean the world and um, keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, but yeah that's all I wanted to say for the moment. I'm gonna have a rest and rest my eyes and um, I will see you probably tomorrow. Keep your fingers crossed that Ian doesn't have a similar reaction to what I did to the vaccine. I really hope that he probably won't, but we'll see. Who knows? Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I am tired, um, but otherwise feeling okay. Um, basically, Ian had his jab yesterday, as I told you. And he did the classic waking up at, um, it was half five this morning. Um, but I don't think he actually wake up, woke up. Um, he was just shaking, like shivering uncontrollably so much that it was moving the bed and woke me up. Um, once I got some painkillers in him and kind of did some breathing with him, um, it, it calmed down and he managed to get off to sleep and he's feeling, you know, a little bit under the weather, but generally okay. Uh, meanwhile, I feel quite exhausted. <laughs> but there you go. Hopefully it hasn't affected him too, too badly and he doesn't have another one of those episodes because it wasn't nice to watch, as I'm sure it wasn't nice for him to watch me in so much pain when it was happening to me. So um, there you go. I have an exciting day today. Um, yeah, all right, I'll tell you. <laughs> I hope it goes well. I'm starting a new... Uh, a new little venture because of course I don't do enough already. Um, I'm starting a podcast. Um, doing radio and stuff is something that I really really loved um, for a really long time at uni and if you've been here with me from the start you'll you'll know that and I miss it a lot and I really wanted a way to get that back in my life um, and with the pandemic it's it's not too easy so I thought hey let's start a little podcast. Um, so I'm starting off recording today with the lovely Lindsay from Neo Walks. Um, so hopefully that'll be a really, really fun chat. Um, I'm starting with her because uh, obviously we, we did a video together last year um, and that went really well. Um, so I was like, okay, get a good first guest who I'm already comfortable with. <laughs> um, and we'll see how it goes. If uh, I've told you about it and it never sees the light of day, <laughs> know that it didn't go well um and i will you know publish my failure as well as my success um but hopefully it will be all good and it will be available soon um it's still something i've got to figure out how to get it on podcast places there'll probably be a youtube version as well um but i'll let you know more when i know more and i've got some really good guests coming up so be excited Hey guys, happy Saturday afternoon. Um, I am quite tired. I was going to talk to you earlier and I took my camera out to talk to you earlier and um, my uh, memory card wasn't in there. That was silly. Anyway, <laughs> um, I went to Asda. Ian is feeling okay after his jab, um, but uh, needed quite a lie and he ended up feeling quite rough yesterday so i went to do the shopping and karen came along as my care assistant to come and help me um so that i could do that because i can't um push a trolley for that long or carry the big heavy things anymore um i just got so deconditioned so i was very um glad to have them there to help me um and then i popped around to someone's because I was in the local paper uh, yesterday. I didn't even know. Uh, basically the Essex Girls project that I had some pictures taken for um, by a local photographer called Mark Massey um, was, uh, was featured and um, they used my picture which was very nice so I've now got a copy of that. I will show you. It's not particularly exciting probably, but there you go. I um I was excited by it, so there you go. 
um, but it's been quite a long day so I'm just going to chill, finish up watching The Circle, find out who wins, watch some drag race. Um, I don't know if I'll find out who wins that, I don't know how they're doing the final this year. Um, and just have a chilled old evening. Um, I don't know what Ian and I are going to do tonight but I'm sure we'll figure something out. I'll see you then. Hey guys, um, happy Sunday. We managed to get up and get out quite early for a walk this morning, which was really, really nice. But um, I'm just completely exhausted and I'm completely, completely shattered. Um, I, yeah, have just been resting up and just hope I feel a little bit more human for the rest soon because next week is gonna be a busy one. Um, I'm back to princessing next weekend. Um, it's just one party outside, but I'm really, really excited, but also a teensy tiny bit nervous just because it's been so long. Um, it was strange, but it'll be really, really good. Um, but yes, anyway, so new glasses. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be a little bit annoying because they've got a blue light filter on, which is amazing, but also it means that they have this weird kind of blue reflection, which I don't know is annoying or not but we'll work it out but they're just kind of brown and they've got kind of a different kind of brownie tortoisey bit down the side um they fit quite well they're a little bit tight on the sides but i'm hoping that will um will sort itself out over time but uh, and then i've got the same pair but in blue as sunglasses so i'm really pleased with those and i managed to get two pairs for 80 quid with the blue light filter on these ones and the sunglasses on the other ones from glasses direct so i do really recommend them i do i do like a good glasses direct pair um so yeah i'm just chilling watching catfish and also waiting for my new laptop arrive uh, laptop arrive, laptop to arrive because my old one has gone kaput and uh, when you're a vlogger who is also working from home uh, you need a, a working laptop so I had to order one pretty damn sharp um, so that's coming today so I'm looking forward to that, to having enough space on my laptop and having a laptop that does the right things for me so I'm hoping this will be a good switch and we will see uh, what works well um anyway i will finish it there for this week thank you so much for coming along on this week with me um if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already i'd love it if you'd hit subscribe um there is a giveaway with neo walks over on my instagram which will be open until wednesday so go and check that out and also please please if you haven't already head to my rare disease uk rare reach festival nomination page which is also linked um, and vote for me for that it would mean the world to um to get that and the vote for that closes on friday the 16th of april i think um so thank you thank you thank you thank you spoons and love Mwah. see you next week <laughs>